I have the Eight of um, Cups in the upright position, Three of Swords, Reverse. Wheel of Fortune, Upright, and this is Ten of Cups. I forgot, this one fell out first, so I'm going, going to use that as your crowning energy, which uh, gives me a really interesting reading. It's kind of strange. Um, three of Cups, Upright, Ace of Wands. The Nine of Swords, Reverse, Temperance, Reverse. I'm going to see here. Okay, interesting. Um, six of Swords in the Reverse position. And the King of Pentacles, Reverse. Okay. So what I would advise is there's a lot of hesitancy about moving forward, okay? There's a lot of fear, anxiety, hesitancy about moving forward in general. And I would... You know, I, I know it's easier said than done, but I would definitely advise you to do it, to move forward, because you do have the Wheel of Fortune in the upright position. And it's a really good card to get in the upright position because things, everything is starting to go your way. So, you know, don't waste this opportunity on old problems, okay? Move forward. And additionally, in the process of moving forward, you're going to have a lot of emotional fulfillment. So, let all that self-doubt go because what I'm sensing is um, a huge dichotomy with the way the cards are laid out, okay? So... I'm going to have basically to, to do like a two separate readings for um, Geminis because the energies are very um, polar. It, it's like, yeah, it's like a split personality thing, which is uh, very appropriate. So if I were to look at this, it would be like, what I'm sensing is like this, this two dichotomy. Okay, so... Um, so let's put it like this so that you can see the differences. This is how I'm going to have to read it, okay? Just because the en the energies are opposing one another, so I can't really do a coherent reading. But what I'm going to do is, I feel that for a lot of you though, um, elements within each reading um, are going to resonate with you. So, you know, give and take. Look at the whole picture and see what I'm, you know, getting at. Because this is, you know, being... in being in limbo, being out of balance, and not being able to let go. There's a lot of fear, anxiety as well. This is a good card here. However, with the Temperance card, it's a it, major arcana, so it overrides everything else. So what I'm sensing is a state of being out of balance, okay? And this is something that is um, very instrumental for you to be able to move forward. However, it's in the reverse position. So it's telling me there's a, a sense of like security, in dealing with things from the past, even though they're no longer serving you, but um, it brings about comfort. It brings about like a nurturing atmosphere in which you find it really hard to you. I would almost say like um, you feel that it, that same feeling of security can't be replicated with anybody else or with any other situation in your life. Okay, so. That could potentially play out, but um, I want to start at the beginning of the month. And what I have here is the Eight of uh, Swords. It's a card that is your crowning energy. It's indicative of a lack of information, okay? So being kept in the dark, not knowing how to move forward, not knowing which way to go because you don't have full access to information. Now, this is a really uncomfortable place for Geminis to be in because um, you are a social butterfly. And you do want to have, and you know with Geminis too, it's ruled by uh, Mercury. So Mercury deals with communication. And in this situation, when you're restricted in the your ability to process and access information, it's really frustrating for you. And I, I understand that. It also deals a lot with like anxiety because it's triggering up, um, it's triggering, you know, that, that um, Mercury energy within you. You know, like things are Communication channels are flat, so it, it, it it's very anxiety-inducing, okay? So I know this is a really uncomfortable place for you to be. And I would advise you, you actually have two paths in which you can move forward. So all of this is in your head, okay? The sword energy deals with, like, more emo uh, mental anguish. So these are, like, fears that are in your head, they're not based on reality. So it's really important for you to keep that in mind and maintain that perspective, okay? Because I feel that um, the anxiety is really hurting you and it's actually 
blocking a lot of new energy uh, coming into your life this month. So definitely don't let it, okay? There's a way out. You just don't see it yet. So until you change your perspective in the way that, you know, you approach the situation, okay? So turn this around and I, then you're going to be in a much better place. And I feel that there is definitely opportunity for you to change this situation. But the opportunity is very fleeting, is very transient. It's there. You have to grab it and roll with it. Otherwise, um, and also the, the, um, the opportunity is going to come at a point where, okay, so let's see how this would play out. Okay, so the opportunity itself underneath this card is going to be like, um, you feel that you don't have all the information at your disposal to roll with that opportunity when I would suggest that you actually do and it's actually a really good time for you to act on faith alone. Okay, so that would be the advice here because I feel that, you know, the temperance card, um, this is a card of Sagittarius and Sagittarius are extremely um, optimistic and also very, um, they have a lot of faith in life. So. That's what I mean as well um, when I say that Aquarius and Gem... Uh, not Aquarius, I'm sorry. Uh, Sagittarius and Gemini have a lot of faith in life and they tread very lightly through life and they're very optimistic. So it's kind of like uh, living a provisional life or like playing a video game in which, you know, if you die in the video game, you can reset and start over. It's one of those like you're highly optimistic. This is in the reverse position. So what I would definitely say is you're lacking in faith. And a lot of it has to do with this anxiety, this, you know, uncomfortable situation that you've had to contend with for quite some time. It's coming out as a crowning energy. So I would say it's definitely something that you've been dealing with for a few months, um, possibly since January. And because you're in this state of anxiety, it's hindering, it, it's hindering the way you approach life in general. So I would say definitely faith in life, in love, in relationships, in your work environment is definitely lacking. And understandably so because you're in a state of anxiety and you're not operating at your best. So, um, you know, you like I mentioned, um, going back to this, this uh, the newness, the new opportunities are going to present themselves. Um, you're going to be held back from taking those opportunities because you feel there's not enough information. So I would suggest, you know, take that leap of faith because things are going to work out really well, okay? So, okay, so let's just move on forward with that, okay? So starting, um, the, the first two cards that I have is the Eight of Cups, which talks about um, a situation in which you're moving on from past relationships, past friendships, past work environment, and past situations that have caused you a lot of pain, in which you feel like really betrayed, you feel really broken down, and you feel really hurt. So this is definitely, you know, from a few, I would say even January as well, January, February. Um, you're no longer putting up with that situation. I do see you, you know, contemplating going back to it uh, with the Wheel of Fortune. You know, good opportunities usually come in as well as b bad opportunities from the past. However, um, you know, you have more opportunities to move forward. So, but equally, you can also regress. So I do see that you're contemplating, you know, going back to old situations. So be out of security out of you know the sense that um the sense that you can give it another try or the other person can give it another try i feel greatly though that the other person um that you really want to give it another try rather than the other person like persuading you to give them another try um what i'm sensing though in general is you know you you've made up your mind to walk away your heart is starting to heal you have new abundance energy coming in and all it requires is you taking that leap of faith however you're being blocked because you're reminiscing about things from the past you're reminiscing about the last time you took a leap of faith and you got burned so you know this is new energy we're dealing with, so keep that in mind. And this is new people that, that are coming through your uh, into your life. 
so you still have to let this go because your heart is you know in the right place right now to move forward with newness so definitely let that in okay I do see a lot of um, support from family and friends especially from like um, females in your life so this reading is for you know men, men and women but in general I feel that a lot of uh, female friends f like siblings relatives they're going to be very instrumental in helping you um, move on with your life and they're going to be your support system okay so I do see like um, a lot of earth and earth and fiery women being in your midst and helping you get past this okay and new opportunities as well this is you know renewed passion so um renew passion within your home life renew passion like a renewed sense of vitality when it comes to your life in general and how to move forward so like um i guess like a world of possibilities have opened up for you but um you're holding yourself back because of fears of disappointments from the past and you're like reliving the trauma from the past in which a similar situation presented themselves possibly last year this usually deals with like a year cycle as well so an energy that um, something happened last year in which this you saw that it, it was the same situation you know and then you got burned and because of it um, in the process of going encountering this en energy again is bringing up a lot of you know trauma within you so you have end up in a state of anxiety which is a really really sad thing to, to do like to turn your back to this you know when opportunity comes knocking okay so I would say let it let all of it go I know it's not going to be easy but um we have a lot of abundance energy here so don't look back okay move forward don't look back I feel a lot of you might be reverting back to bad situations from the past um, Okay, so let's move forward here. So with the Ace of Wands, this is, you know, new energy, renew a uh, sense of passion and vitality and all good things, basically. Um, it also deals a lot with, like, um, I guess, uh, renewed interest in old things as well. So um, it is underneath the Three of Swords, which is, you know... Y um, the healing process in the process of healing new energy is coming in and it's going to you know spark up your life all over again so you're going out into the world and you seize the opportunities okay so this is really really good energy um, I'm not going to say if it's related to relationship or anything else I'm going to leave that for the love reading but I definitely would say it's like a a sense of revitalization in your yourself in your environment which is really good energy so like I said all of these energies can be mitigated okay like um this is not a bad card to have in the uh, reverse position it's actually very good so let go of past situations that no longer love you uh, that no longer serve you let go of people who no longer love you and um, let go of things that have weighed you down in the past okay because um, all of this has been a lot of pain and anguish it's in the reverse position so you're actually getting over them slowly you're recovering and I do feel like you know a lot of uh, healing as well every time I see this card the three of swords it, it uh, in the reverse position it indicates healing and you have so much abundance like in store for you so don't waste it on people who don't deserve it okay um, I just want to say, so obviously this is not going to apply to everyone, but a lot of you might have dealt with like um, a situation like depression. What I'm sensing is depression too. Things are definitely getting better this month, okay? The depression card is actually underneath the Wheel of Fortune. So things are going to take a turn for the better. And then with Temperance card, um, for those of you who have dealt with like um, any type of like substance abuse and especially when it comes to like alcohol um, I see this temperance card in the reverse position showing up a lot and um, you know support somebody who is either recovering they're in the process of recovering from depression or you know substance abuse or something like that so it's very instrumental um, for them to be around you know people they trust and people who don't judge them so it's important for you to 
um, to keep that in mind as well okay so don't be too judgmental about this because they really need your support at this time um, another thing I would advise you um, is yeah this is coming in strongly so I just feel like I, I should say it so for example if you if you if you are are sad about you know something that didn't work out or if you're sad about someone and um, it's sort of like if okay so for example if you had a friend and you had a falling out recently and then every summer you guys would like go to I don't know go to the beach together for example okay this could be anybody in your life that you've had a falling out with or any situation in which like going to a certain place going to meet somebody or you know like a, a certain place a certain activity would trigger memories of that person um, be really careful about doing that this month what I'm sensing is with the temperance card it's also like a, a trigger there's something that you do like instinctively without thinking that triggers like bad memories so it could be for you or it could be for somebody else and especially for people who are dealing with you know either depression or substance abuse and you're taking them back to that to relive that a, that moment is really not a good thing okay some would say it could be very therapeutic and healing for them to find closure within that situation and moving on but I just feel like um, they're not in the best state of mind right now so it it's kind of agonizing to have to put them through it okay so be be really like careful if you're dealing with somebody of a really delicate um, I guess mental state um, be mindful of that okay so that that is coming in and I know that's um, that's going to resonate with someone and I hope you know that is good advice for someone out there who might be dealing with someone who's very delicate right now um, I do see though um, you know f overall wheel of fortune also indicates like financial success its fortune card and it's um, it's a lot of luck as well so I would still say though go easy with uh, expenses this month okay we have the king of pentacles in the reverse position um, and we also have this situation here you know like not moving on and then we have like financial obligations which is tying you to the situation that doesn't allow you to move on so be really careful about that um, a lot of you too might have like dealt with a separation or a legal problem or like even a divorce in which you're uh, divvying up the assets so just know that um, money money will only help us in this lifetime okay so past that point I think it's better to extract yourself out of that situation altogether rather than being tied by financial considerations okay so keep that in mind um, yeah so please like share subscribe let me know leave comments as well and let me know how this plays out in your life